Sometimes you gamble and you lose, but sometimes you gamble and you win. It's Weigh In Wednesday. Stick around. We're getting into it right now. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Manya and I've lost somewhere between 28 and 30 pounds on the WW Purple Plan. Today is Wednesday, so that means it's weigh-in day and I'm gonna share my weigh-in results as well as everything that I ate today on the WW Purple Plan. If you wanna skip all the food stuff and head right to my weigh-in results, there are timestamps below in the description box and you can skip right there. But if you wanna see everything I eat to be successful on WW, let's start with coffee. Okay, here's my morning snack. It is half a cup of oatmeal cooked with a cup of water, blueberries, mango, banana, and then on top I have pumpkin pie spice, some salt, and then you can see those little granules, that is a quarter teaspoon of sugar. That keeps it to zero points for this entire snack. And, and really that quarter teaspoon is enough just to give a little bit of sweetness. Lunchtime. Okay, so here's what I have here. These are ramen noodles that are zero points on purple. And you should be seeing pictures of the front of the packet as well as the ingredient list. And then I'm holding one of the ramen cakes in my hand. Uh, this is sort of a well-known thing on WW Purple, so if you don't know about these, you should. I get this pack at Costco. If you don't have a Costco by you or you're not a member, I, I don't know where to get them, but you could check online. You can see this is a hefty portion. I also have kale in here as well as some mushrooms and a little broccoli. This is leftover from last night's dinner. Uh, when I talk about eating whole unprocessed carbs on purple, this is what I mean. And then I'm going to add some sriracha on top. Sriracha has a little bit of sugar, but it rings in at about zero points, so I don't worry too much about it. So that is lunch. I'll come back for afternoon snack. I just went for a walk and I'm feeling a little weak. A little bit. So I'm going to eat this apple and hopefully feel better. See, I couldn't even get my over shirt off. I need to eat this banana. So I had the banana. Um, I don't think I properly ate before my outside walk. So that's why I felt like I was getting weak. So it's my fault. I've been hungry today. So when I'm hungry, I do not deprive myself. I eat and I know it's looked for the past month or so, like maybe I've been eating too much. I don't think that's true. If you stick around, Till the weigh-in, you'll hear me talk about what I think the issue has been. It has not been eating whole unprocessed carbohydrates. <laughs> that is never the problem for me. That is how I lost 30 pounds. Uh, there are some other things going on. So it's about 4.30. I'm gonna eat in about dinner in about 90 minutes to two hours. I'm hungry, so I'm gonna eat a big bowl of popcorn. This is popcorn with nutritional yeast and salt and some spray oil to make it stick. I may still have my sweet popcorn tonight that y'all have seen me eat every single week. We'll see. If I want it, I will have it because this is zero points. No one got fat on air pop popcorn with a little nutritional yeast, salt, and spray oil. So don't worry so much and don't be hungry. As far as I'm concerned, being hungry is a surefire path to, um, quitting. All right, I'll see you for dinner. Dinner time. We are having farro 
which is a whole grain that is zero points on purple. And this is a quarter cup of this sauce, which is two points for a quarter cup, and I think it's plenty. And then on top, we will put asparagus, kale, mushrooms, and then some onions and garlic. And that is dinner. Okay, I decided not to have popcorn tonight because I already had popcorn earlier today. So this is my five point snack. It is a banana with one tablespoon of this, one tablespoon of this, and a teaspoon of this all mixed up into a peanut butter with 30 chips. I do it all in grams, but whatever the grams are for this, this, and this, all of that totals up to five points. I think that looks delicious. So that was everything that I ate today. And now let's get into my weigh-in results. As a reminder, if you're not watching me every week, I've had a hard um, two months, I would say. I was losing really steadily in December and January. I was eating what I would call a 50-50 plate. I didn't make that up. It is from the Starch Solution book where you eat 50% of your plate is a whole unprocessed carbohydrate and the other 50% is a non-starchy vegetable. You may recall that in January I had a friend who was trying to sort of kickstart her health and so I was really doing 50-50 very religiously because we were sending each other pictures and and um, then that was January and that was all we had committed to. And so in February, I still ate whole unprocessed foods. I, I still um, eat high starch, all of those things, but I let other things creep in. And I got in my head that it was really important for me to start eating more soy products. So I started making my own soy milk and uh, I started eating more tofu. And I still believe that this is good for my health, especially for a woman in her mid 40s heading towards menopause. Soy has just been shown to be really, really good for us. But one of the things that Dr. John McDougall says on the starch solution is if you're trying to lose weight, you want to avoid things like too many nuts, too many seeds, avocados, and he says specifically tofu. So I didn't see any kind of impact from the soy for a couple of weeks, so I thought everything was fine, and then slowly things started creeping up. And I found myself, after last week's weigh-in, let's see, I gained uh, 0.4 pounds last week, but it was after like this weird roller coaster, which is not normal for me, I started to really think about what was going on and what could I do to, to stop it. So I decided that once I finished that batch of soy milk that I had and the any tofu that I had, that I would back way off of the soy for a while. And then I also realized that I was getting tired. I've been doing this since May of 2020. It is now March, mid-March, it's St. Patrick's Day. And I, it's tiring. And I don't know how those of you who have 100 pounds, 150 pounds to lose, I mean, it takes years. And it gets um, fatiguing to track all the time, to be aware, to always be thinking about food, always be thinking about portions and process and points. And I just decided, you know, I'm in some kind of weird plateau thing. I'm gonna do what I can, but I need a few days off. And so I took the weekend off. Starting Friday night, I uh, went out to dinner on Friday night. I went to a tea with a friend on Saturday and I ate all the cookies. I ate all the food that was in front of me. Saturday night, Oh, I went out to dinner Saturday night, and then Sunday night we got burritos. <laughs> so basically, I went out to eat every day for three days in a row. And I did that consciously, and I did it deliberately. 
because sometimes if you're in a plateau, you need a kickstart. I don't know why this works. I'm not a doctor. Don't ask me. But your body seems to get used to eating uh, the diet way and that can stall weight loss. So I gambled and I ate whatever I wanted all weekend. And I ate. It was amazing. And then Monday morning I was back on it. And I was back on it without the soy. So my oatmeal was made with water. I was back on 50-50 with the half starch and the half non-starchy vegetable. And um, on the screen, you'll see both results from my daily weigh-ins and then also my WW weekly weigh-ins. And I really didn't think I was going to lose this week, but I did. So I started my journey in mid-May of 2020 at 163.2. And today I weighed in at 134.2, which is a loss of 29 pounds. Total. I lost 0.6 this week. I was worried looking at yesterday's uh, weigh-in. Yesterday's weigh-in was 136, so I thought, well, there's no way I'm going to lose this week, but that's okay because only two days after indulging all weekend, I, I really didn't think I would lose. So I gambled and I won this time, and I'm pretty happy about it. And fingers crossed, this will continue. So thanks as always for watching. Uh, let me know how you're doing in the comments below. Remember, we are in this together and weight loss and long-term health is a journey. And sometimes it is up and sometimes it is down. So hang in there and uh, I will see you in the next video. Bye.